Hello po sa lahat. Welcome to my channel. Sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, i-click nyo lang po ang subscribe. I-click nyo yung bell button and then select all for more updates. Maraming salamat. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about greatest common factor and least common multiple. So ako nga pala si Teacher Saldi. So sana meron kayong matutunan sa video na to. So let's start with greatest common factor, or also known as the GCF. So yung acronym na GCF, ang tawag natin dyan, greatest common factor. Greatest common factor or the GCF is the highest number that divides exactly into two or more numbers. So si GCF, ito yung pinakamataas na number na pwede mong hatiin yung dalawang number sa kanya. Okay? So, factors are numbers we multiply to get the product. So, let's say we have 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 and 3 are what we call factors. And then, 6 is the product. So, ang tawag natin kay 2, factor. Ang tawag natin kay six, uh, 3, factor. So, pag multiply natin yung dalawang numbers, we will get product. Common factors are factors appear in both numbers. So, pag sinabi natin common factors, Ah, uh, ito yung mga factors na meron pareho yung dalawang numbers. Example, let's say we have factors of 8. Factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. So, pag minultiply natin si 1 kay 8, makukuha natin 8. Si 2 kay 4 naman, pag pinagmultiply natin, makukuha natin is 8. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So, again, pag minultiply si 1 kay 12, makukuha natin is 12. Si 2, pag minultiply kay 6, makukuha natin is 12. 3 kay 4, makukuha natin is 12. Okay? So, the common factors of 8 and 12 are 1, 2, and 4. So, si 8 and 12, meron silang factors na pareho. So, ito si 1, ito si 2, and then si 4. All numbers have common factor 1. Okay? Lahat ng mga numbers... Meron silang common factor na 1. So, lagi yan, makikita ninyo meron. But since we are looking for the greatest common factor, yung pinakamataas na number na meron silang pareho, okay, the GCF of 8 and 12 is 4. So, si 4, siya yung meron silang pareho na pinakamataas. That's what we call the GCF. Okay? Next, we have the least common multiple. The least common multiple naman, or, or also known as the LCM, okay? So, this is the smallest number. That is a multiple of two or more numbers. Ano ba yung multiple? Okay? So, kung sa GCF, ang hinahanap natin sa GCF is pinakamataas na factor, dito naman, pinakamaliit na multiple. A multiple is also known as the product. Okay? When a number is multiplied by another number. So, halimbawa, si 2 times 4 equals 8. Ang tawag natin kay 8 is multiple. Okay? 8 is a multiple of 4 and 2. Kasi nga, pwede mo siyang hatiin sa dalawa. Or, uh, on the other hand, kung minultiply mo yung dalawa, makukuha mo si 8. Common multiples are multiples appear in both numbers. So, kung kanina, common factor siya, Meron din tayong tinatawag na common multiples. Ito naman, yung multiples na meron silang pareho. Let's say we have multiples of 4. So, si 4, kapag nagta-times-times ka, makukuha mo 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. And then we have the ellipses. Tuloy-tuloy yun. Basta tig for 4. 44, 48, 52, and so on. Okay? So, we have multiples of 5. There are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then ellipsis, 55, 60, yung tuloy-tuloy na yun. Okay? Common multiples of 4 are 20, 40, 60, 80. So kapag tinuloy-tuloy mo yun, magkikita mo na 60, 80, 100, 120. So to, to 20 sila. Kasi nga, nag-start siya ng 20. But since we are looking for the least common multiple, the LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. Now we have the inverted division. 
Okay, so the inverted division is the most used process to get the GCF and the LCM simultaneously. So, ibig sabihin, kapag kinukuha mo yung dalawang yan ng sabay, ang gagamitin mong process is the inverted division. Although, meron tayong mga process sa GCF, meron mga tayong mga process sa LCM, but kapag yung dalawang yan, yung kinukuha mo na, okay, halimbawa, may given na two numbers, kukunin mo yung GCF, kukunin mo yung LCM, the most used process is the inverted division. Okay? So, kaya sa tinawag na inverted division kasi, babalik ta rin mo yung division. Uh, babalik ta rin mo yung, symbol, yung process niya. But, uh, same operation. Division pa rin siya. So, kumbaga, kung sa ano ka, kung sa division ka, pababa, uh, na, ta, sa taas mo nilalagay yung sagot, dito, sa baba mo nilalagay yung sagot. Let's have an example. But, uh, for that, we have a note. Divide both numbers until there is no common factor than 1. So, lahat, hatiin mo sila nang meron silang pareho na number. Hanggang sa 1 na lang yung natira, 1 na lang yung meron nilang pareho, dun ka na mag stop Okay? So, let's say we have 24 and 60. So, the number 24 and 60. Halimbawa lang. Kukunin natin sa GCF and then si LCM using inverted division. So, ganito yung inverted uh, division. Since the numbers are even, both numbers are divisible by 2. So, lahat ng numbers, di ba kapag even, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, kapag uh, ang dulo nila ganun, pwede mong hatiin yun ng 2. Okay? So, you can divide by 2. So, inverted siya. Uh, ano sabi ko kanina, sa baba ka naglalagay ng sagot. Okay? So, si 24, pag, pag uh, dinivide mo ng 2, magiging 12. So, si 60, pag dinivide mo ng 2, magiging 30. Okay? Next, since the numbers are even again, okay? So, 0 at saka 2 yung huli nila. Pwede mong hatiin ulit ng 2 yan. So, divide natin ulit siya by 2. Okay? So, ang makukuha mo, 12 divide 2 is equal to 6. And then, 30 divide 2 is equal to 15. Okay? Based on divisibility rules, so, both numbers can be divided by 3. So, na, napag-aralan nyo na yung sa divisibility rules. Okay? Although, wala pa siya sa, sa channel ko, pero later on, i-upload ko rin yun para nang sa ganun ma, malaman ninyo na isang, isang tingin lang dun sa isang number, alam nyo na na pwede siyang hatiin pala sa maliit pang number. Okay? So, both numbers are divisible by 6, ay uh, by 3. Okay? So, hatiin natin, 6 divide 3, that's 2. 15 divide 3 is 5. So, si 2 and 5, wala nang ibang factors yan na pareho aside from 1. So, kapag ganun yung nangyari, stop ka na. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nakuha mo na si GCF and then the LCM. Since 2 and 5 have no common factors, tulad nga nang sabi ko, aside from 1, multiply all the numbers on the left side. So, naka-underline dun yung uh, left side, naka-emphasize yung left side to get the LCM. So, kapag kaliwa, ang kinukuha mo dun, the greatest common factor. Kapag minultiply mo lahat. Okay? And then, multiply all the numbers on the outside. Okay? So, lahat ng nasa labas. So, ibig sabihin, si 2, si 2, si 3, si 2, at saka si 5. Pag minultiply mo yun lahat, makukuha natin si LCM or you will get the LCM. So, the GCF is 2 times 2 times 3, lahat ng nasa left side, which is 12. Okay? The greatest common of uh, factor of 24 and 60 is 12. And then, the LCM is yung nasa labas, yung nasa kaliwa, tsaka yung nasa baba. The LCM is 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 5, which is equal to 120. So, ang least common multiple ng 24 and 60 is 120. So, sobrang napaka-useful nito kapag yung dalawa yung kinukuha mo. Okay? All you need to do is to divide until wala ka nang makitang common factor. Pag sinabing common factor, pwede mo silang i-divide pareho. Pero kapag hindi mo sila pwedeng i-divide ng pareho, stop ka na dun. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yun na yung huli. And then, 
Multiply mo lang lahat ng nasa left side to get the greatest common factor. And then, multiply the left side as well as the lower side. Okay? Makukuha mo yung LCM. So, there are ways to get the GCF. Let's say, yung pinag-aaralan mo lang is all about the greatest common factor. Okay? Yun lang. So, huwag mo nang iisipin si L LCM. So, although you, you, can, you can use uh, inverted division kung saan ay kang gamitin yun, but... We, we have other four ways. Kasi five ways to. Kasama na yung inverted division dyan. Meron pa tayong apat na paraan para nang sa ganun, makuha mo yung GCF. Okay? First thing is the listing method. Wherein you will list all the factors of the two numbers. So, ito yung ginawa natin nung una. Yung nakita ninyong example nung una. Sinulat natin lahat ng factors niya. Factors of 16, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And then we have factors of 20. Let's say you, you are getting the GCF of 16 and 20. So, factors of 20, meron kang 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So, the GCF of 16 and 20 is 4. Ang meron nilang pareho na pinakamataas, pinakamalaki is 4. Okay? That's the first way. That's the first process. The listing method. Although, second na siya kasi naturo ko na yung inverted division. Okay? Next, we have divide. Okay? Paano naman yung divide na yan? If the bigger number is divisible by the smaller number, then the GCF is the smaller number. Ano yung ibig sabihin yan? So, kung yung mataas daw na number, pwede mo siyang hatiin dun sa maliit, hindi mo na kailangang mag-solve. Hindi mo na kailangang mag-lista. Okay? Automatic, the GCF is the smaller number. Example, what is the GCF of 9 and 27? Okay. Although, or since 27 is divisible by 9, okay, pwede mo siyang hatiin by 9. Hindi ka na magsasolve, hindi ka na maglilist ng factors. The GCF is already 9. Okay. Yung smaller number. So, ulitin natin. I-divide mo. Kung pwede siyang hatiin, the GCF is the smaller number. Next, find the difference or the difference. Yung, uh, if number 2 isn't possible, hindi pwede, hindi pwedeng hatiin, subtract the two numbers. I-minus mo sila. If both numbers is divisible by their difference, then the GCF is their difference. Example, we have, what is the GCF of 24 and 32? Okay? So, si 32, hindi mo naman siya pwedeng hatiin by 24. You use the difference or find the difference. So, syempre, 22 minus 24, it's 8. Okay? Both numbers are divisible by 8. So, pwede mong hatiin si 24 ng 8. Si 32 din, pwede mong hatiin ng 8. So, the GCF is 8 yan. Okay? That's the difference. Next, we have factor of the difference. If number 3 isn't possible, Look for a factor of the difference. So, kung hindi siya pwede, ay maghanap ka ng factor niya. Kasi kapag minus mo yung dalawang mataas na numbers, let's say 32 and 24, halimbawa mataas yan. Pag minus mo yan, liliit yan. And then kapag hindi siya pwedeng i-divide, maghanap ka ng factor niya na pwede dun sa dalawa. Example, what is the GCF of 22 and 26? Halimbawa, mataas na number na yan. Okay? Since 26 minus 22 is 4, but put numbers is not divisible by 4, then the GCF is 2. So, factor of 4 is 2. A factor of 4 is 2. Okay? So, pwede siyang i-divide dun sa dalawa. Although, alam naman natin na yung factors ng 26 is, ah, yes, 26 is 2 and 13, and then si 22, 2 and 11 lang. So, alam natin na 2 yan. But, kapag malaking number na yung pinag-uusapan, Okay? So, you can use this way. Okay? Yung process na yan. So, and then, syempre, the inverted division, the most commonly used, especially on bigger numbers. So, inverted division is also used in getting both greatest common factor and the least common multiple. So, may note lang tayo dyan, okay? na dapat 1 lang yung common factor. What is the GCF of 24 and 60? So, na ano na natin kanina yan, the GCF 
is 12. Okay? Pero tignan natin, uh, halimbawa hindi natin alam yung kanina o hindi natin gagamitin yung kanina na sabay sila. Note that divide until there's no common factor aside from 1. So, 24 and 60 are even numbers. Okay? Uh, since they are even, both numbers are divisible by 2. So, pwede mong hatiin ng 2 yan. Kasi nga, ang dulo nila, 0 at saka 4. Okay? So, pag dinivide mo by 2, 12 divide, uh, 24 divide 2, that's 12. 60 divide 2 is 30. Okay? Again, those numbers are even. So, both are divisible by 2 kasi 0 at saka 2 pa yung huli nila. Pwede mong hatiin by 2. Okay? So, dividing by 2, 12 divide 2 is 6 and then 30 divide 2 is 15. So, both numbers is on the divisibility rules. Both numbers can be divided by 3. So, uh, yung divisibility rules, yeah, hindi pa siya na, although hindi pa siya na-upload, i-upload yeah, ko siya. Okay? And then, later on, pwede nyong balik-balikan yun. I-replay ninyo para malaman nyo yung mga divisibility rules. Sobrang dali ng divisibility rules. Okay? So, divide natin siya by 3. 6 divide 3 is 2. And then, we have 15 divide 3. That's 5. So, since 2 and 5 have no common factor aside from 1, multiply all the numbers on the left side to get the GCF. So, lahat ng nasa kaliwa, i-multiply mo lang. So, 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 12. Then, the GCF of 24 and 60 is 12. Okay? So, that's all, uh, all the process of the greatest common factor. Yun na lahat yung processes ng greatest common factor, including inverted division. So, meron kang lima. Again, the first uh, method is the listing method. And then, divide. Kung hindi pwede si divide, look for the difference. And then, kapag hindi pwede si look for the difference, you look for a factor of the difference. And then, pang lima si inverted division. Okay? So, let's now proceed with the LCM. We got three ways. Okay? So, dalawa na lang kasi yung isa kanina na uh, na discuss na natin although i-discuss pa rin natin siya ngayon kasi nga kung halimbawa LCM lang yung pinag-aaralan mo so dito ka lang mag-focus parang ganoon siya so we also have the listing method in uh, multiple list common multiples okay list all the multiples of two numbers example we have the multiples of 6 so 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 48 and then so on and so forth Okay, we have the multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and then so on and so forth. So, the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. So, pwede yan. Ang tawag dyan, listing method. Sinusulat mo lahat. So, kung magaling ka mag-skip counting, eh, pwede sa'yo yan, the listing method. Hindi ka na mahihirapan. Kasi, kung ano yung nakita mong una, ay nakita mong unang number, siya na yung LCM niya. Basta, tama yung skip counting mo. Okay? Next, we have the multiples of the bigger number. So, ano yung ibig sabihin noon? Multiply the bigger number by 2, by 3, by 4, and so on until it will be divisible by the smaller number. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, i times 2, i times 3, i times 4, i times 5 mo daw, yung bigger number hanggang makuha mo yung divisibility nung sa smaller number. Hanggang pwede mo siyang hatiin dun sa smaller number. Okay? So, dito naman, ang, ang hahanapan mo lang na multiples, yung bigger number. Tapos, tignan mo kung pwede siyang i-divide. So, kung sanay kang mag-divide, eh, madali sa iyo yung process number 2. So, based on the above example, halimbawa yan, 8 times 1 equals 8, which is not divisible by 6. Hindi mo siya pwedeng hatiin by 6. Also, 8 times 2 is 16, which is not also divisible by 6. So, si 16 hindi mo pwedeng hatiin by 6. But since 18, 8 times 3 is equal to 24, and 24 is divisible by 6, kasi nga si 24 is even number, tapos pwede mo pa siyang hatiin by 3. So, a number is divisible by 6 if that number is divisible by 2 as well as 3. So, si 24, pwede mo siyang hatiin by 2 at saka by 3. So, divisible by 6 siya. So, the LCM is 24. So, hindi mo na kailangang maglista-lista dito. Okay? Kasi, alam mo na, 8 times, uh, times 1 ko yung 8. 
So, 8 hindi pwede. Times 2, 16 hindi pwede. Times 3. So, malalaman mo kung uh, pwede na siyang i-divide by the smaller number. So, kung pwede siyang i-divide dun sa smaller number, yung nakuha mong times 2 times 3, okay, yung LCM, yung multiple na yun. Okay? So, and then we have the last process, inverted division. So, the inverted division is the most commonly used, especially on bigger numbers. Okay? Inverted division, ito yung ginagamit natin sa GCF as well as the LCM simultaneously. So, kapag kinukuha mo yung dalawang yun, the best gamitin ang inverted division. Okay? Example, so LCM of 6 and 8, although nasagot natin ito kanina, 24 yung sagot, tignan natin kung papaano siya ginagamit sa inverted division. Okay, note that divide until there's no common factor aside from 1. Okay, so, lagi yan. So, 6 and 8, numbers are even. So, both numbers are even. Both are divisible by 2. Pwede mong hatiin ng 2. So, pag si 6, hinati mo ng 2, magiging 3. And then, si 8, pag hinati mo ng 2, magiging 4. Since 3 and 4 have no common factor aside from 1, pwede na yan. Yan na yung pinakahuli mo. Ang gagawin mo lang, multiply all the numbers on the outside to get the LCM. So, ano ba yung outside? Ayun yung mga nasa labas. Since 2 times 3 times 4 is equal to 24, then the LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. So, yung mga nasa labas lang mo na mga numbers. So, kahit ilan pa abutin yung nasa left side, kahit ilan pa abutin yung mga nasa lower side, okay, i-times mo lahat yan to get the LCM. That's what we call inverted division. Okay? So, thank you. So, sana meron kayong natutunan sa, sa video na ito. Maraming salamat sa panonood at pakikinig. Hello po sa lahat. Welcome to my channel. Sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, i-click nyo lang po ang subscribe. Click nyo yung bell button and then select all for more updates. Maraming salamat.